you know, a lot of people out there are curious about, you know, so if we do hire a recruiter, what does that look like? What's that experience like? How does it work from beginning to end? And while I can't personally speak to what other recruiting services do, I can tell you what it's like to work with us once you engage us to help you find the right people in the labor market. The first thing that we do, and we have a three-step kind of process, but our first step is to get really focused on what it is that we're looking for on your behalf. And we do that by making sure that our job description and our compensation expectations are on the right track. So, and here's where we're coming from. A lot of times what people do with job descriptions is they're in a hurry, they need them done. And so they go on the internet and they Google, you know, the job title that they're hiring for and they, and they put job description after that and they just copy and paste whatever Google pulls up as a boilerplate job description for whatever they're hiring for. Just because that's a typical um, set of responsibilities for that role doesn't necessarily mean that it's what you need in that role. So we sit down with you and we ask you specifically, what problems do you need this person to solve for you every day? So that way we can create a job description that specifically looks and signals um, to what you need out of this person when we help you bring them on board. The other thing that we ask about the job description is how do you see it evolving or changing in the next six to 12 months? And here's why we ask that. A lot of times when people go to market uh, looking for a replacement for somebody, they just write a job description based on what the last person did or what was existing before. And just because the last person was doing that, it doesn't necessarily mean that's what you need the next person to do. So we ask questions around how the role will evolve in the next six to 12 months to make sure that we're looking for the right person for your organization for tomorrow, not the right person for yesterday. The next thing that we do is we're gonna do some market research on compensation levels for a position like this, so that way we can make sure that you're competitive in the market and that we can agree beforehand what it is that you're looking for um, or what you're gonna be uh, targeting compensation-wise in the right candidate. Once we have all of that set up, we're gonna go on to step two, and step two is to find candidates that are gonna be self-motivated for the role that you have. And the way that we do that first and foremost is we set up a talent pipeline. And what that means is that we set up all the different um, avenues and communications that we need to communicate to people that this role is open. And we're gonna do that by signaling and messaging to people that um, are hanging out where the people that you're looking for are hanging out. So certain industries sometimes hang out in different spots online or uh, in the community, and we're gonna find out where those places are and let them know that this role is open. The other thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna locate candidates and actually reach out to them on your behalf and let them know um, that we're hiring and see if they're interested. From there, we're gonna take candidates that are interested and have the right technical skill set, and we're gonna interview them. And we're gonna use motivational-based interviewing techniques that are used by companies like Disney to identify candidates who are gonna be self-motivated and, and be passionate about the role that you have open and are gonna treat your business like it's their own. After that, step three is we're gonna introduce you to really strong candidates and we're gonna extend a job offer and onboard them. We'll work with you to make sure that you're effective in negotiating the job offer. Um, and then once it's uh, agreed upon, will actually help you onboard that uh, new team member uh, to your team. And that also includes, even if they're relocating from another uh, market or another city, we'll help them with their relocation needs however we can. If we need to coordinate on their behalf, introduce them to people who can help them find real estate or other things that they may need as they settle in um, or welcoming services in the community, we're gonna get that set up so that way everything can go smoothly um, for that person's uh, um, transition into starting with you and get them onboarded so that way their first day with you is seamless. Hope that helps you understand our recruiting process, how we can take all of your efforts from being unfocused or maybe you don't have time to succeed in the labor market to how we can help you succeed in the labor market and help you find the right candidate um, that is gonna be committed to your organization's mission.